Now, Wolfie, I don't mind at all you snatching that stickman Carbuncle's leg, but if you keep on digging it up, he's bound to find it sooner or later. Now, if I've taught you nothing, and I haven't, it's that you always hide the evidence. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Now, listen. After we rebury Carbuncle's leg, what say we go mark our territory on his bed? Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Say, hey, uh, have you seen Carbuncle? I try not to if I can help it. Mm. Why? Well, you know, I, when I ordered these brains, I forgot to get the side of spinal fluid, and I thought, well, maybe I'd tap some from him. Sure, he's not bound to miss any of it. No. But I haven't seen him. Truth be told, I'm hoping not to see him. I know what you mean. He is pretty ghastly looking. Well, that and Wolfie here stole his leg. Oh, yeah? Oh, good Wolfie. <laughs> well, these, uh, well, we'll just put these anywhere. Yeah, right over here. Okay, Wolfie, you stay here while I go see if the coast is clear to rebury that leg. <laughs> on one leg was getting most tiring. Not to mention, most tiresome. Oh. Well, there you are. Where have you been all this time? Well, I'm not sure what you mean, sir. Where was I supposed to have been all this time? Right here, getting a spinal tap, of course. Isn't that right, Gordon? Yes, of course. How could it possibly have slipped my mind? Oh, and for what? Do you need my spinal fluid for, sir? Why, for my experiment, of course, creating the atomic brain. <laughs> Great horny toads, what happened to all my brains? Ah, uh, yes. I've been wondering that same thing for years. No, 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 I mean the brains that I ordered for my experiment. They're gone. Gordon, you didn't... No? Carbuncle? Well, of course not, sir. You know that I strictly prefer dark meat. Yeah, well, never mind. It probably wouldn't have worked anyway. Come on, baby, let's go. What's the matter with you? Oh, someone made off with all my brains and ruined yet another experiment. Why so upset? Your experiments never work anyway. Well, it's not that so much, but it's all those brains. I mean, what happened to them? Neither Gordon nor Carbuncle say that they ate them, and I don't... See, that's what's wrong with Wolfie. No wonder he's sick. What? You mean to tell me your werewolf, my brains... If you think you're upset now, wait till you look out back. Oh! Trust me, it's not a pretty sight. Oh. Well... You know, I guess if there is an upshot to all this, it'll at least keep the neighborhood kids from playing in my backyard. For one thing, they'll regret it if they do. Should you feel inclined to complain about the poor taste demonstrated in that last exchange, be glad you weren't subjected to it as originally written. Trust me, it wasn't a pretty sight. And whilst we're on the subject of not-so-pretty of sights, let us now return to the, uh exciting conclusion of the atomic brain. Just be thankful it's almost over. Thirteen, come on over here. You wanted something, Uncle Gooley? Uh, uh, did uh, you pick up Wolfie's mess out back by any chance? No, nah, I conned that old carbuncle into doing it for me. Ha, excellent, excellent. Uh, now, why don't you sit on your old Uncle Gooley's lap and tell me what you thought of this week's movie. Well. I can't actually say what I thought of this week's movie on commercial television. Ah, understood. I'll just say that the atomic brain reminds me a lot of what Wolfie did out back. Yeah, yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, you know, a big pilot. Yeah, 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 I th think we get the picture there. Yeah, okay. sorry to interrupt you there, uh, Gomez, but I got a delivery here for a uh, 13 or something. Well, she's 13. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to get in your little picadillos there, Jerry Lee Lewis. I, uh, none of my business hold your No, little... he means I'm 13. That's my package. Yeah, sure it is, Buffy. 
I thought you looked a little mature to be 13 years old. Beat it, would ya? Thanks there, Damon Jim. Uh, hey, hey there, Fright fans. Thanks for joining us again here at Horror Incorporated, and be sure to stop in again next week. Until then, unpleasant dreams.